hello guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is amaka and this is the zama stitches in this tutorial we are going to be learning how to make a pant trouser now this is a continuation of our previous video on how to make a pant trouser if you've not watched that video i'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box below so that you can check it out later if you've not subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button and subscribe Let's get started. Now I've cut the, I've transferred the pattern to the fabric. I've cut my fabric. Now this, for this, I have two of this. This, I have two of this. And this one is also two. This is two. This is two. This is two. Now this was cut on fold. This is one. It was cut on fold. It was cut on fold now this is also cut on fold this is single and it it, cut, it was cut on this was also cut on fold it was cut on fold okay so i'm going to start with the front panel so that i'm going to show you how to to install your zipper so now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to start by sewing here i'll take this to my sewing machine and I'm, now the, that the line i have on my pattern paper i've transferred it to the trouser to my fabric that line i have on my pattern paper the seam allowance i've transferred it to the fabric now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to start by sewing here i'm going to sew here with regular stitches and i'll stop here and i'll tie i'll sew here i'll tie here now after that i'm going to continue my sewing but this time with with loose stitches i'm going to sew with loose stitches and i'll stop here now when i stop here now I'm sewing with loose stitches because I'm still going to open it up. I'll still loosen it. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. So now, now I've sewn my trouser. Now I, I, I have to sew from here to this point. Take note, I told you that I'll stop here. Now I tried sewing, I, I had to sew here with regular stitches and I stopped here. I stopped here and I continued with loose stitches and I sewed it to this point. Now I'm sewing with loose stitches because I'm still going to loosen it. Now take note of that. Now take note, a woman's trouser, a woman's trouser, a woman's zipper fly usually opens from the right hand side of the trouser. Now this is the right hand side of this trouser. This is the right hand side of the trouser. Now when I turn it this way, this is the right hand side and this is the left hand side. So from here, this is the right hand side. This is the right hand side of the trouser and this is the left. This lower part is the left hand side. So I'm going to place my zipper. Now this is my zipper. This is my zipper. I'm going to place my zipper. My zipper is going to stop here. So I'm going to place my zipper here this way and I'll sew. I'm going to start by sewing this part. I'll sew here. I'm going to sew here. I'll sew here. So let me do it and show you the outcome. I have sewn it. I've sewn it. Now take note, I only held this fly. I only held this part and held my zip and sewed my zip and this part together. I didn't sew it together with this part. I didn't sew it with this. Take note. Now, after sewing, this is what I have. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do, you see how this is, and you see how it is. I'm going to hold this this way. Now, this is it. I'm going to push in this one and out of stitch. I'll push it this way. And I'll top stitch now. I'm going to top stitch on this. I'll top stitch on this. I'll top stitch here. So let me do it and show you the outcome. Look, I, I have to, I've top stitched here. I've top stitched this. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hold this one. I'll hold this and I'll hold this zipper, this part of the zipper, and I'll take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew. Now I'm going to sew this part. I'll sew this part just like this. Take note, I'm not sewing it with this one. I'm just sewing this and the zipper. So I'm just going to sew just like this. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. I've sewn this part. I've also sewn this part. That is this part, which is the right side. I've sewn it. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my trouser this way. Now, you remember that I told you that a woman's zipper fly opens from the right side, from the right hand side. So now, this is the right hand side. Now, I'm going to draw my zipper curve. I'm going to draw my zipper fly curve 
just like this. Now I'm going to draw it from here. So now I'm going to take this my sewing machine and I'm going to sew like this. I'll sew it to this point. So as I'm sewing here, you see, as I'm sewing here, it's be catching this. I'll be sewing this one as well. So I'm just going to sew like this to this point. Now I've sewn my, I've sewn the zipper curve. You see the curve that I made? You see this line? I've sewn it to this point. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen these stitches. I told you that, I did this, that I'm going to loosen these stitches later. Now I'm going to do that. I'm going to loosen it. So now this is it. You see my zipper. So after losing it, you see. So this is what I have. After losing it, this is what I have. Now this is my zipper fly. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to fix my zipper shield. Now this is my zipper shield. I told you that my zipper shield was cut on fold. This is my zipper shield. So now I'm going to attach my zipper shield this way. I'm going to place it this way. So you see how I'm going, I'm going to fix it this way. You see the shield. So I'm going to fix it this way. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew. Now I'm going to top stitch on this zipper fly. So I'm going to top stitch. Now I'm going, you see the stitches that I did, I'm going to sew on this. I'll top stitch. Now I'm going to sew on top of these stitches that I have sewn already because I don't want to have two lines. Here, I don't want to have, I don't want to sew two, two lines here. So it will be neater if you sew on top of this particular stitch so that you, your work will be neat. So I'm going to sew on top of this one that I've sewn already so that I'm going to have only one line. I don't want to have two lines here. I don't want to have two stitches here. So I'm going to sew on top of this one. So I'm going to do it and show you the next thing to do. So this is it. I've attached the... So this is the zipper shield. This is the shield. Now this is this is it. Okay, this is it. This is the shield. This is the shield. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hold this part of the shield. I'll hold this part and I'll hold this part and I'll I'll tack it. I'll tack it just to hold it down, just to you know, just to join it together. I'm going to tack it. Let me just illustrate with pin. I'm just going to hold it and tack it. I'll just tack this part and, and this part. And that will be all. And that's just it. So this is it. It's that easy. So this is my zipper. You see? This is the shield. This is the fly. So that's just it with the zipper fly. So now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to fix your pocket. Now, I'm going to cut off this, the excess I have here. Just going to cut off this excess. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fix my pocket. Now this is my pocket. This is my pocket facing. I'm going to place my pocket facing on the trouser, right side facing right side. And I'm going to sew. Now I'm going to sew it this way with half inch seam allowance. Let me illustrate with pin. I'll sew it with half inch seam allowance. Now, after sewing with half inch seam allowance, I'm going to push the, I'm going to push the seam allowance on the, on the pocket and top stitch. I'm going to top stitch. I'll top stitch. I'll notch. After notching, I'll push the seam allowance on the pocket and top stitch. And after that, I'm going to have something like this. Now, this is the pocket. When I finish doing that, I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to have something like this. This is what I'm going to have. Mm -hmm. 
So after that, so this is the pocket bag. This is the pocket bag. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place my pocket bag this way. So I'm going to take this my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. I'm going to hold the facing. This is the facing. I'll hold the facing and I'll bring the bag right side facing right side. I'll place it together right side facing right side and I'll sew. And I'll sew. So I'm going to sew it. Let me still illustrate with pin. So I'm going to sew it this way with half inch seam allowance. So after sewing, I'm going to do it with half inch seam allowance and I'll turn it. Now when I turn it, this is what I'll have. You see? So this is my pocket. You see? You see my pocket has taken shape. This is the pocket. So the same way I'm going to do this, I'm also going to do this one. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. So guys, I'm done sewing. Now, this is the pocket. I've attached to the pocket. This is the pocket. So, this is the second pocket. And my zipper fly. This is my zipper fly, the zipper shield. Okay. So, and, and one more thing. I've also closed, I've closed my dart. I've closed my dart. Now, this is my dart. I've closed my dart. And I've I have attached the the pockets. So this is the pocket. This is it. This is the pocket. So now that's it with the front panel. Let me get the back panel. Now this is the back panel. You know the back panel is two. Now this is the two. I've, I've actually joined the two legs. So this is what I did. I had to sew. I had to place. I brought the two legs together. And I joined it right side. I placed it right side facing right side. And I had to sew. I sewed the crotch. And I stopped here. Now this is where I stopped. From here to here. And I've held my dart. I've closed my dart. So now let me bring. Let me show you how to join the front panel to the back panel. So this is the front panel. This is the front panel. Now I'm going to bring the back panel. And I'm going to join the back panel to the front panel, right side facing right side. Now, take note, the back panel is usually bigger than the front panel. Remember that we added one inch for ease. We added one inch for ease on the back panel. So that's why the back panel is looking bigger than the front panel. But that's just, that's okay. That's how it's supposed to be. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew here. Now I'm going to start by sewing here. I'll hold the crotch. I'm good. Now this is the front crotch and this is the back crotch. So I'm going to join it together this way and I'll sew. So I'm going to sew this way. I'm going to hold it here, the crotch. I've joined the um, front panel to the back panel and I'm going to sew it. I'll sew it. I'll sew it to the, I'll sew it to the hem. And this, I'm going to bring this one too and I'll sew it to the hem. Now, after that, I'm going to hold here. I'll hold the sides. I'll hold the sides like this, and I'll sew. I'm going to sew the sides. I'll sew the sides. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. Now, this is my trouser. Now, I've sewn here, and I've also sewn here. Now, here, when you're sewing, use your half inch seam allowance to sew here. Sew here, the crotch with half inch seam allowance. Then, when it comes to this side, you can use either, you can use if you, you can use, use the half inch. So it will have inch seam allowance, the seam allowance that you left. But if you want your trousers to be fitted, like a little bit fitted, like fitted, you can use one inch. You can sew here with one inch and sew here with one inch. That is to reduce that allowance, the ease, that one inch ease that you, you added. To reduce it a bit, not that, not that you're eliminating it completely, but to reduce it, to make your trousers, you know, Fitted. But if you don't like fitted trousers, you want it to be, you know, just normal, like free, just leave it and sew with half inch. Sew here with half inch seam allowance. Sew here with half inch seam allowance. The seam allowance that you left. But if you want it to be fitted, sew 
so we want to so here we want insteam allowance so here we have to use allowance so now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to attach my band now this is my band let me turn my trouser to the right to the right side so now this is what you will do here now you're going to start by sewing your band so we have inseam allowance so here we have inseam allowance So we have inseam allowance. Then when it gets to this point, stop here. That is, leave half inseam allowance here. Leave half inseam allowance here. Which you're going to use to attach it to the band. Now, after that, you turn it. Turn it to the right side. Hmm? Now, remember that you're going to leave, you're going to need two inches for overlap. Two inches for overlap. Hmm? You're leaving two inches for overlap. Now, the next thing you're going to do, you hold, now you hold one side of your trouser this way. You hold it this way. And you sew. You sew. Now you're sewing with half inch seam allowance. See? You're sewing with half inch seam allowance. Now, after sewing with half inch seam allowance, you're going to hold it and you sew with half inch seam allowance, sew it round and get to this point. Stop here. Stop here. Now, after that, now to hide, to hide your seam, now you're going to sew again. Turn this and sew here with half inch seam allowance. Sew here with half inch seam allowance and you turn it and you sew. Now, you're going to hold here. You hold here you push in this part inside you hold here and you sew now see your half inch you have half inch seam allowance here now you're going to place this half inch seam allowance here just like this and you sew now when you're sewing sew from here sew from here don't sew on top of the band now the, what i'm going to do i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and i'm going to sew from here i'm going to sew now as i'm sewing you're not going to be seeing my thread on top of my band and at the same time you will not see it on top of the trouser i'm going to sew it inside in such a way that i'll sew it neatly in such a way that you will not see it on top of the band and you will not see it on the trouser i'm going to do it neatly so i'm going to sew it round again now after that when you turn here you're not going to see the seam allowance from here and when you turn here you're not seeing the seam allowance from here so that's how to sew your band so i'm going to sew it round after sewing it round I'm going to, it's going to, you know, I'm going to have something like this. I'll sew it round and stop here. So I'm going to have something like this. Now, after that, I'm going to hem the legs. Now, this is my trouser. This is my trouser. I'm done sewing. I've hemmed the leg. I've hemmed the lower part. And I've attached my band. So this is the band. This is the band. This is it. So this is it i'm going to finish it so that's just it with this tutorial if you found this tutorial helpful please click on the like button share this video with your friends share this video in your sewing groups subscribe to my channel if you've not done so feel free to follow me on facebook and instagram at lizama stitches we've come to the end of this tutorial thanks for watching bye